A little boy is looking through a telescope with his father and grandfather. The dad shows his son Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. Soon the father flies off on the most important mission in the whole world, and his son is left to live with his grandpa. We learn the history of Earth in the year 2061. There are so many disasters, droughts, fires, volcanic eruptions, animals die out, cities disappear. All to blame for the sun, it is gradually turning into a red giant and absorbs the Earth which threatens to destroy the entire solar system. World governments united for the sake of survival and launched a huge project, Wandering Earth. Over 10,000 giant plasma engines have been built on the planet's surface, pushing the Earth on a trajectory away from the Sun in the direction of Jupiter towards another solar system, Alpha Centauri. The Earth has already lost most of its population due to Sun-related disasters, and after a 300-meter tsunami hit the planet as it left orbit. The Earth has become an icy wasteland with temperatures below minus 80 degrees Celsius. To save at least some of the people, 10,000 underground cities were built at great depths, each housing 350,000 people. The inhabitants of these cities were chosen by lottery, and only a small part of the planet was lucky. We are shown one of the main characters, Leo Payne, who works on the International Space Station flying ahead of the Earth. 17 years pass, and we learn that our hero's son Liuki, lives in one of Earth's underground cities with his adopted sister, Han Dodo, who is still in school. Liuki decides to escape to the surface of the Earth, even though he has never seen it. The guy sets off the alarm system at school and takes Han Dodo with him. The guys sneak into a gambling casino, and there they use bribery to get protective suits and fake passes from the owner. Everything goes well, but suddenly Han Dodo accidentally says that Liuki is not going to return. The casino owner is furious, and a shootout breaks out between them. Fortunately, it's New Year's Eve, and there are many people walking by and festive illuminations on the street. Therefore, the brother and sister manage to escape. Liuki and Han Dodo join a group of the same guys in red protective suits and successfully pass the control. They are given special helmets and walk past a huge airplane. Lucy is absolutely thrilled. They have to take an underground elevator as much as 15 kilometers upwards. The guys put on their helmets and connect their communication equipment. As they ascend, they see a snowy city with skyscrapers. The elevator doors open and the guys are literally blown away by a snow whirlwind. It's minus 84 degrees Celsius on the surface. The brother and sister go in search of the huge transporter truck their grandfather works on. They want to steal it so they can escape from here. Our heroes climb inside and start the vehicle. But, Liuki drives badly, nearly hitting people on the road. He crashes into concrete pillars and miraculously doesn't ram other trucks. Handodo sees workers blowing up mountains. Her brother explains to her that this is how they extract minerals to be used as fuel for plasma engines. At this time, we see Liu Pain again. He has worked on the space station for 17 years and is now retiring. And just today, their station is entering Jupiter's orbit. The man is being honored with a well-deserved leave of absence. He looks hopefully out the porthole at Earth. But an unforeseen situation occurs. Jupiter's gravitational surge. Because of this, the Earth is captured by the magnetic field of the giant planet, and it begins to fall to its surface. And we're going back to Earth. Liuki and Handodo continue their adventure. The boy wants to stay on the surface of the Earth forever, but his dreams are not destined to come true. The guys are caught by the patrol police and put in jail for stealing a transporter. Their Liuki and Han Dodo get acquainted with another prisoner named Tim. The grandfather of our hooligans tries to bribe the police to release his grandson and granddaughter, but he gets locked up for it. He pounces on his grandson with fists, but at that moment, the wall of the prison cell is covered with cracks. It's a massive earthquake, houses collapsing, walls falling, tectonic plates moving, natural disasters. Some of the plasma mansions are shutting down. The casualties are enormous. It's all the fault of Jupiter's new gravitational surge. The earthquake destroys the prison, and four former prisoners jump into Grandpa's truck to escape. Everything around them collapses before their eyes, but our heroes manage to escape the city at the cost of great efforts and reach the vast snowy desert. With them on the phone comes Liu Payne and asks his relatives to go to the nearest evacuation point. The man himself must lie down with his colleagues in special capsules and fall into anabiosis to save energy consumption on the space station. Suddenly, the transporter grandfather demands to stop. Instead, Han Jiang, on the contrary, increases speed, but there is no escape. They are blocked by the crew of a military rescue team. The captain of this team recaptures the truck along with its driver. Their task is to deliver a core to the underground city to restart the engine. Liuki, Han Dodo, and Tim join the rescue team. Together, they all embark on a mission to save the planet from destruction. Han Jiang remembers the serene past when people lived in huge skyscrapers, 
and didn't worry about anything but money. The road is becoming more dangerous by the minute, having to bypass collapsed subway stations and escape falling aircraft debris. The glass of the transporter is about to crack, and everyone is required to wear helmets. The situation becomes critical. The truck breaks down, everyone gets out. They miraculously manage to salvage the core to restart the engine. The team finds a surviving skyscraper. It's the Shanghai Tower. They climb to the top on ropes. At one point, the ropes holding the core break. Han Zhang manages to stop the core from falling, but at the cost of his life. As he dies, the man remembers how many years ago, during a water flood, he saved the life of a little girl, whom he named Han Dodo, and raised as his own daughter. That's how Liyuki came to have a half-sister. He asks his grandson to take care of Han Dodo. Several other members of the rescue team die, and the survivors have to carry the launch core by hand. Meanwhile, Lu Pain prepares to drift off to sleep, but learns that his family has gone on an incredibly dangerous rescue mission. He breaks his capsule and gets out of it. The man also awakens his best friend, Russian cosmonaut Makarov. Together they want to find out why all the space stations left Earth alone before the imminent collision with Jupiter. Leo Payne and Makarov see Earth's atmosphere flowing smoothly into Jupiter's atmosphere. This means it will soon become completely uninhabitable. Among the wreckage, they find a surviving transporter truck and descent core. One of the engineers begs Liuki to complete the mission and deliver the core to restart the engine. Liuki takes his grandfather's place and becomes the truck's new driver. With only him, four military men, two engineers, Han Dodo and Tim left in the team, they drive to the new city. On their way, Liuki's team learns that almost all the engines on Earth have been restarted, but it is of little use. Avoiding a planet collision is impossible. At this time, Liu Pain and Makarov make their way outside from their space station and try to reach the control center. The system recognizes them as a threat and attacks them. Makarov's helmet cracks. He pushes Liu Pain to the control center with his last strength, and he flies into outer space. Our hero gets inside the module and learns that all space stations have left Earth by decision of world governments, as our planet is doomed. In this regard, the Helios program was launched. Its task is to save the remnants of humanity and the Earth's biosphere. For this purpose, only one navigation station will be sent to Alpha Centauri, which in addition to the crew immersed in anabiosis, are 300,000 human embryos, animal DNA, and millions of seeds of major crops. But the inhabitants of Earth are advised to spend their last days with their families, kiss their loved ones, hug their relatives, and gather for a farewell dinner. They have no more than seven days left, but probably even less. But Liuki is not ready to give up. He recalls his father's stories about the explosive power of oxygen and hydrogen. The boy suggests setting fire to Jupiter's atmosphere, which is mixed with the oxygen in Earth. Such an explosion would set the Earth off, and it would break free from Jupiter's gravitational field. Together with the chief engineer, the guy develops a plan to set the atmosphere on fire. He proposes to direct an energy beam from one of the plasma engines at Jupiter. To do this, rescue teams must simultaneously start several engines that have stopped. This can only be accomplished at the cost of incredible effort and heroic sacrifice. But Liuki's plan fails. The force of the plasma beam was not enough, and it did not reach the surface of Jupiter. Seeing that Earth has no chance of escape, Liu Pain disables the control module. Sacrificing himself, he directs his space station with thousands of tons of fuel to the spot on the surface of Jupiter that the beam was supposed to reach. The station explodes, and with it comes an explosion in Jupiter's atmosphere, which throws the Earth off its dangerous trajectory. The huge explosion nearly takes Han Dodo's life, but Liuki manages to catch his half-sister. His helmet breaks, but the boys are already rushing to his aid. The Earth is rapidly moving away from Jupiter, and the humans have had their chance for salvation. Three years have passed, people are preparing for the new year, they are smiling and having fun. Liuki, along with his sister, are off on another mission. They still have to find their place in one of the huge galaxies, and it may take many centuries, but the guys do not intend to put their hands down. That's all for today. What do you think of this movie? Write your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more such videos.